I'll make you famous. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey fellas, I want to add some commentary to the this video of the truck burning down. Let me show you. See, there it is. I talked to the driver of the truck. The the truck woke him up by its shaking, wanting to shut down and wanting to keep running and the smoke was starting to fill up and he made it out, he made it out in time. He told me that a couple days ago his turbo went out and he had it replaced at the Kenworth dealership. Uh, that's a, that's a Peterbilt right there. And they replaced the turbo just two days ago and the way it looks like to me is because see when you replace a turbo on a truck okay let me explain to you when a turbo goes bad on at least on one of these vehicles all the oil that supplies the turbo it goes down into the exhaust system well he, I asked him did they replace the exhaust system he said no they didn't replace the exhaust system so yeah, that tells me right there that it's a good chance that's this is the result of if they don't replace the exhaust system and clean all that out and get all the oil out. So, but he's from the well the company I guess it's from Hamilton, Alabama. I'm up here at a town called Anna, Ohio. It's uh, exit 99 off the I-75. It's it's north of Dayton, Ohio. 
So yeah, I, I just wanted to pop on here and let you let you know a little bit of the video clips that you've seen of this and let you know I talked to the driver. He's all right, he shook up, he sh you know, he shook up. Um, the only thing he could save was his phone and his wallet. So he left his keys in there, you know, because you get what you can and get out. And so he was rummaging through the ashes in there, trying to find his house keys and everything. So his, his company only has like six trucks. His boss is on the is driving up. He's, he's on the way up here. Right now, I'll show you the store. See, that's the store. right now the driver is in there using the fax machine to get some paperwork and see about getting a record. Uh, yeah, this this happened at 6 a.m. I think it was a firefighter or the first on the scene. He woke me up. He was banging on my door because. Okay, see, I'm parked. This is about where I was parked last night, right next to him, just like this, okay? And I had to throw my clothes on because I, uh, I look out and I see that truck on fire. And he says, you gotta move, you gotta move. I'm, okay, I did. So I circled around and parked way over there. And then that's why you see like a long shot of where the, of, uh, I zoomed in as much as I can on the phone, but uh, that's why you see a long shot of the fire. And when the fire trucks got here, they put it out really quick. I mean, it was quick how fast they put it out because the truck was engulfed. After they went away and I, I, got, I went back to sleep because by then I only had like, uh, five hours of sleep probably um, I came back around here and parked again so just to let you guys know I was not here the whole night parked next to him I like I said I got woke up and I circled around and parked somewhere else and then I came back after you know the fire trucks and everything left and the sun came up so yeah I just wanted to uh, give you some kind of um, aftermath commentary all right you fellas i got things to do i gotta deliver this load and i'll talk to you later